I'm not talking about perfection. I'm talking about character. There's no way you will have a good marriage if you two are not good people. Comparison and competition are so real. Like, there is that temptation for you to compare and then to compete with those maybe who are around you in the same maybe stage of marriage with you so there is something you have to really watch like for instance you get married and uh you cannot move into a two-bedroom house you have to start with a one bedroom that is where you know you two are able to afford if you're not careful especially as ladies the pressure to want to please other people the pressure to want to you know compete there is that temptation but you have to make sure that you are not making your decisions based on the outside pressure comparison competition it is something that you really have to watch because at the end of the day you are the ones who will go through the struggle but i feel like if you don't compare or compete just take a step at a time and just do your journey as you with your partner and as a you know yeah based on where you are things will work out and you will find that you move on graciously like it is not as strenuous as stressful as it will be trying to take on you know things that you as a family are not in a position to so that is something you have to consciously have learned that you have to be very conscious about it there are those temptations to yeah, just do better. That is something to watch. Respect each other. And uh, this is a very important aspect. I feel like it's good for you and your spouse to respect each other. When you have that respect, you know, in your relationship and being so intentional about it. Because let me tell you, there is just that uh, temptation to grow familiar with someone as you continue to live with them. But just making sure that you are not rude okay you are not just acting um you know in a way that is not pleasant towards your spouse because you know they're just your spouse yes but you don't want to encourage disrespect in your relationship because that will you know form you know the the basis of how you relate and many many other things so you just want to respect each other that is one thing i found out that it's a very good thing respect appreciate you know the contribution of others and hold each other in high regard like value your spouse i value my husband and in return he values me so it makes the relationship really really beautiful so one thing i've learned respect is very key and especially to men men interpret love as respect so this is something that god has really really taught me about just respecting your spouse not because of what they have not because of how much they know but because of who god has you know made them to be he's the head and uh, the responsibility over their lives not because of anything that they do but because of them as a person and i thank god because as a person i love to respect people i don't love to look down upon people I love to respect people unless you are acting in a way that is not respectable. But I, I don't find it hard to respect people. It is in me to honor and to value people. So it has been something that is not so hard for me to do. I really, really highly esteem my spouse, which is something that I've found that is very, very important. The other thing I've learned is intentionality. You have to be very intentional in your relationship, even in the smallest and tiniest thing. Like, serving your spouse welcoming them home or you know telling them you love them you know every day good morning hug your spouse like those small things being so intentional about them because if you're not they can sleep off and of course you will still be in marriage but i feel like there is just the way you are your bond won't be you know at a good place so that is one thing i've learned being very very intentional even in the smallest things don't take nothing for granted even in the smallest thing saying thank you say thank you to your spouse if they do anything don't take it as you know normal don't grow familiar with them i think that's the advice that i was really given by my spiritual father he told me that never allow familiarity into your relationship because once you're familiar you won't take things seriously you will just see them as normal like ah my spouse served me okay we'll say thank you 
But those are good values to have. Say thank you for food. I thank God for my husband because those are the things. You made nice supper. Thank you so much, babe. I feel good. You are beautiful. You know, that's one thing. That's what I'm talking about. Intentionality and the same from me. And also I want to say that there's the temptation to settle once we're in marriage. Especially, I'm speaking from my point of view, okay? When you get married, especially to a good spouse like my husband, that man is just from heaven, okay? There is the temptation to settle and uh, you can forget the dreams you have, the things you really still have to pursue, the goals you have. So there is that temptation to settle and you have to constantly remind yourself of your dreams, of your aspiration. And the good thing is good to have your spouse be your accountability partner. I thank God for my husband because he will always remind me, baby, your channel your, your your career like all those things your business you want to check out your business and all that yeah so it is good to be very intentional and also have your spouse also be your accountability partner having them remind you not that you're not you know pushing or uh, and that means you have also a good relationship with your partner where you are very open with each other that you can tell each other like remind each other of your dreams the same way even him he can settle but a constant reminder of you need to do this you need to build on your careers you need to do that it is very important because there is the temptation to settle in marriage especially if you have a good spouse let me talk about stability honestly a good marriage will give you stability and i feel like this is such a blessing because it makes you free to build your life and you feel like you are stable now you know when you have a good foundation that you know you can build stories upon you are assured I feel like a good marriage guarantees that that is not for every marriage of course but a marriage that gives you stability just guarantees you like a space for growth you are free to build on it and work on each other build each other because you know that this is for life because of course we are not foreseeing divorces in our marriages because we know that is not in line with God's word and so that aspect of just we are not boyfriend and girlfriend we are husband and wife it really makes you to be grounded and that's something I've really enjoyed like I feel so grounded so stable that I can build I can build my family I can build my career, I can now work hard to, you know, invest and just achieve what I want to. So that's the beauty of a good marriage, it affords you stability. And when you get married, honestly, that with a good spouse, disclaimer, with a good spouse, you are guaranteed of stability, which will have you be very driven to just build your lives together. Another thing is that a good marriage equals two good people. I'm not talking about perfection, I'm talking about character. There's no way you will have a good marriage if you two are not good people. Forget it, honestly, forget it. The quality of your marriage is depending is dependent on the quality of the two of you. The quality of your behavior, the quality of your character, the quality of your relationship with God, of course. One thing I thank God for is that me and my husband, we are so similar honestly my husband and i we are so similar in many ways and especially in terms of character we have the same values our characters really really align and this is why it is important for you to marry someone who your values align your character align with that person so that there is no struggle you know and uh, you are able to work together work on yourselves to achieve that quality marriage that you have but as long as one of you is not on the same page it will still be a struggle even if you are good and your spouse is here it won't it won't work there will just be a struggle so just being both of you having character and being very intentional about your marriage, wanting a good marriage, all of you, and working towards it, it is very important. Without that, it is not possible to achieve a good marriage. It takes two to tango. The Bible says the two are better than one because they have a great reward. As long as you're working together, honestly, your reward is better than when you are alone. Yep, so it is a blessing to be married. That is just to make it, you know, make that clear. It is a blessing to be married because two of you are better than one. You will have a greater reward than if you are working alone. 
raising a family alone it is better when you're two of you i can imagine the far we have come the things we've done with my spouse the things we've had to settle if oh i don't know as god helps us i know we'll really really do a lot because we are two so yeah that's one thing i've learned another and the last thing i think i can say of course these things will increase as they keep growing i'll keep sharing more of the wisdom that i'm getting but yeah the last thing i've learned is agreement two cannot work together unless they agree unless you and your spouse agree and i think this relates to the one i talked about that it takes character the two of you agreement is very key and that is why if you are a child of god you marry someone who does not believe in jesus it will be so hard for you to work out your marriage because it is a problem to agree and honestly the decisions you have to make together as a family if there is no point of agreement it will be it will be headache it will be bad it will be bad so one thing i've learned that really makes also marriage easier is agreements your faith your values you know and being people who even if you have varied opinions can you come down and agree with each other like is it possible or do you have someone who they just hold on to their positions and there's it's yes and amen and there is no place to change no cast on stone no there has to be that place where there is you know flexibility in the both of you because the bible even says that two cannot work together unless they agree if you don't agree you will always be push and pull push and pull yes guys so that is my honest opinion on a marriage but honestly let me tell you marriage is beautiful marriage is beautiful of course it has its responsibility it has its work that has to be done but i feel like if you understand what marriage is and why you are going into marriage you should know that marriage has its work but it's a beautiful place honestly i don't wish to be single i enjoyed my singlehood it was a beautiful place to be and enjoy it while you are there but also make sure that when you get into marriage honestly i don't wish to be single again there are many and better like advantages of being married than being single in my life at this moment and so my honest opinion marriage is a beautiful place let no one lie to you as long as you have the best spouse the right spouse oh sorry the right spouse it is a beautiful place to be and as long as it is of god for you to be in that marriage you will enjoy it is it is a beautiful place it is a beautiful place so yes guys thank you so much for watching that's all i had for you today remember to like comment subscribe subscribe share to other people who may also benefit comment down below all the things that you will love me share with you and of course i'll be happy to get into that until next time guys thank you bye